Hey Uplifters, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a recent subscriber, hey Uplifters. So the holidays have approached and, and is approaching. And not just holidays that um, survivors of incest sexual abuse go through or any survivor, but um, mainly I'm talking about incest sexual abuse survivors because I am one. Um, for you, you, those that do not know, um, go check out my other videos when I talk about it and I tell my story but um I am kind of um I didn't want to do this video but I kind of did like I was tugged to do the video whatever um but the holidays for me I can only speak for myself um can be hard and I have accepted the fact that holidays aren't the same as I'm on my healing journey. And um, I used to struggle with the fact that I didn't really go around the family like that. Like I struggled with it a lot when I began my healing journey. And I thank God I'm in a better place now. That's where I know that um, my peace, my mental health, my um, my joy is not going to be disturbed because of people, places, or things. Sometimes as survivors of incest abuse, we struggle or we battle between going to family functions or, or not going to family functions. Like, we want to be around our loved ones and we want to, like, enjoy the people that we want to be around. But sometimes we have to choose us because for those that um, families still accept the predator of the family, um, accept the person that has abused you and stuff like that, your predator is gonna be at these functions for the most part. Um, in my case, my uncle, is around a lot of the, the functions. Um, he's not excluded from any of them. He told my story like a few months ago and um, I shared that I allowed myself to be in spaces because I didn't want to start a problem and I didn't want to be problematic. I didn't want to, whatever the case was, I didn't want to be the, <laughs> I can't be the bad person, but I just felt like I didn't want drama. So I was around my uncle and I felt like because I forgave him that it was okay to be around and I would be okay with it. Um, no, newsflash, it did not work that way. I was struggling mentally, um, everything else. And when I decided to remove myself and not be around people that let him be not be around the people but also i guess it, it is what it is to be around the family when it was functions going on and he was going to be there like if i if i if somebody is having a having a get together or having a party or doing something for the holidays and i have to question if he's going to be there i'm not going to be there i don't want to i don't want to be around him it's not because I'm in a unhealed place. It's not because I still have any hard feelings or if I'm still harboring the, the the past. I'm not. My healed version of myself won't allow me to. And I'm, I thank God for that. I don't have to subject myself to being around my abuser to please other people. And yes, I once was a people pleaser. And I'm glad that I'm not any longer. And being a people pleaser will have you going crazy mentally, whatever the case is, it'll have you going crazy because you're trying to figure out why you're not happy, why your your mental is declining in whole time is because you put yourself in situations where you don't have to put yourself through. You know, like if you're old enough to make the decision to not be around people, please do so if it's gonna help you out. Like as being a survivor of incest sexual abuse and having my family still deal with my uncle it really like it i'm not gonna say it didn't affect me because it did but now it's like i don't care 
I'm not going to allow what someone else do to dictate how I feel and how I move. Like, I still love you, but I can't be around when he's around. I won't be around. So when a lot of times, like, oh, nay, you're not. Um, are you coming to this? Or are you coming to that? Are you going to be there? And it's like, no. Or I think about it. But no, I'm not putting myself in situations like that anymore. And I just want to encourage of the survivors of insect sexual abuse or anyone that the family or friends still deal with your abuser don't put yourself in situations where you have to be around your abuser if you don't have to be you know um choose yourself you know you're worth being happy you're worth being around people that support you that love you that will empathize with you will help you get through your struggles of being a survivor um, and if they can't, if those that you think will be there for you and they're not there for you, let them go. And it's not saying to let them go forever, but like distance yourself. You can love people from a distance and still choose you. You matter. So don't allow anyone to make you feel wrong or feel bad for not being around because you don't want to associate yourself with your abuser. But the holidays can be hard but we can get through it and we will get through it um find your inner strength um you got through the hardest part healing is is hard but it's worth it and finding yourself again is hard but it's worth it thanks for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe